Mull's 6 1 win tonight. How pleased were you with that performance? First half, not very. Um, second half, obviously, we've come out and turned the screw a little bit and improved a lot and obviously got a lot of goals in the end. I think it wasn't a reflection of the full game because first half was nowhere near good enough. But to come out 6 1 winners, it looks triumphant. But first half, we were way off it. But obviously, we've got quality in the team. We knew once we, once we started sticking to our game plan and playing how we can play, we knew we could take over the game and thankfully we've done it. Yeah, the gaffer's just said there he told you to stay patient at half time. Did you feel that was the key to, to turning things around? Yeah, looking back at half time now, obviously, I was more just disappointed about how we played the game. I was just annoyed, angry um, that we found ourselves one down but credit to the gaffer, he's told us what we need to stick to task and just be patient because the chances have come, obviously he's studied this team a lot more than we have because that, that's obviously his job and um, the gaffer's been spot on, we've been patient second half and we've come out and just got a lot of goals. It's a great team performance but on a personal note it's two more goals for yourself as well, how pleasing is that? Yeah, really pleasing to get two more goals. Um, it's too close to 30 that the gaffer asked for the other week, but I want to score as many as I can. I want to keep scoring, but most importantly, I want to win every game and to bounce back from the weekend disappoint disappointment tonight. Obviously, it was expected, but it was expected within the camp as well. But we've gone and done the job, and um, now we can move forward. Those goals put you in pole position for the Golden Boot. Is that something you've got in mind? Not particularly. If I win it, brilliant. That, that's obviously <laughs> an aim for any forward, but it's not something to think about. I'd trade any personal accolades for getting promoted, so that's the main focus for me. Yeah, and the games do come thick and fast, so it's on to the next test now. How, how do you think we'll prepare for that? Well, to a staying over tonight, so I get some more recovery in tomorrow in the pool. The club are really looking after us and we're grateful for it, because we do need that extra recovery with a lot of games coming up. We've got a Saturday, Monday, and then we'll be back at training after that, getting ready for the Saturday game against South End at home, another big crowd we'll have there, and we've got to go and try and try and win that one as well. A yeah, win's a win, but what does six goals do for the confidence in the group? I think the confidence has been high, you know, we've just went, what was it, 16 games, doing well, winning games, so <clears throat> I think the confidence is high, it's just um, nice, obviously, to get them in the second half, especially after going one behind, I think people might have feared the worst, especially after the weekend, and they think it's a slip, and they're going to go, but no, not, not us, we're going to keep going till the end, and work as hard as we can, and we'll never give up. Just a word on a couple of your teammates as well, we'll start with Jordan, who scored two brilliant goals tonight as well, didn't he? Yeah, I think that's 20 for him for the season now as well, for a centre midfielder, that's unbelievable. He's been brilliant for us this year going forward, and um, in the first half of the season when we were struggling to create so much, he'd pop up with big goals as well, so um, Jordan's been brilliant all year. But as a team, I think we've, we've allowed Jordan to be very good in that position as well, and allowed him to get him up the pitch with the security behind him, with Youngie and JJ, and obviously whoever else has come in in midfield. And Tonight you've seen Macher at left-back, he's come in, he's created goals from there, Reese comes on, creates a, a chance from that side, French, he's come in and been brilliant, so we've got a squad who've been really good, and um, tonight I think it's a collective effort, we've all, we've all played our part second half, and... Um, now we're just looking to keep going forward because, as I said weeks ago, the squad's massive for us and it's proved tonight to be so. Yeah, the games are running out now. What do you think will be the key if we are to get promoted? Stockport losing, it's common sense, isn't it? But for us, we've just got to win. We won't give up. We'll keep trying. And what will be, will be. You know, We can only give you best. And um, what will be at the end of it, that will be. But for us, we focus on ourselves. Whatever they do, we can't control it. It's out of our control. We work as hard as we can, try and get as many wins as we can and see where we are come the 15th, 16th of May. Cheers, boss. Thank you. Thanks very much.